Hey guys, uh, J77 here. I'm uh, just going to do a quick uh, thought on the Super Bowl. Uh, it has been probably one of the weirdest uh, things I've ever seen this year. Um, I might as well just give you my own overall feeling. The first half wasn't really impressed at all. It was uh, pretty much uh, a dead crowd, um, say, when I saw it on television. Um, and that's largely because um, Baltimore, from the very beginning, was dominating the game. Uh, it was 28-6 before, before it was said and done. Um, really took all the energy out of the game. Um, didn't care about the halftime show. Um, Beyonce was fine. I didn't have a problem with that. Uh, but overall, I was just one of those lost the um, football game. Second half, um, pretty much, it was getting everything ready up, getting everything set up. Uh, it was the third uh, quarter, and the 49ers uh, pretty much was um, was like uh, third and 13. And then the blackout happened, and uh, <laughs> needed to say that was something that was very, very weird. Um, I ended up turning on my radio to get the uh, to get better coverage because the television I wasn't really getting much out of it. Um, and uh, they were talking about they heard something going on in the walls before about the lighting. Um, the lighting um, had a, like a buzzing sound. And from what I understand, they said that uh, that it wasn't after the halftime where all the um, the con that halftime concert show happened is when they really started to notice that the power seemed to be drained. Um, and they mentioned a lot of other stuff about the lights, and I think that was one of the main factor is they put a lot of new lights there to give it a more retro retro effect um, kind of thing. And um, I think they didn't. I think they underestimate the power uh, of those lights because no sooner went after the concert went down, that just everything went down. Everything slowly started coming back on slowly. Um, yeah. Scoreboard was, I think, the last thing that came on. But once the lights came back on, once the football got started. That's when the 49ers started playing again. It was kind of weird. It was like, okay, the lights went out, 49ers got their whole rejuvenation, and we was treated to probably one of the most craziest second half. I really did enjoy the second half, and I really did enjoy the last-minute heroics uh, going down the wire with at least a minute and change left uh, on the clock where Baltimore put the stop uh, right on their own goal line, on, right on their own um, goal. And it was like, wow. <laughs> What a what a finish! Um, and I gotta tell you this: um, if Baltimore would have lost that game after being after leading 28 to six, and they were lost, I'm you know the media is gonna play up the black blackout like nothing. Um, the media was gonna basically point the finger at uh, the people who um, run the super, the, um, the Superdome in New Orleans. A lot of stuff would be thrown out there. And uh, makes me ha kind of happy that they did win for the simple fact that it will carve those conspiracy theories in half. Um, there's going to be a lot of discussion about this. Um, they all NFL is investigating the blackout because it, it it did put a stop into the momentum both teams have, uh, particularly Baltimore, which was w running in with lots of energy. And once um, they once that blackout happened, they didn't have the ball for almost. 80 minutes. That's how long they went without having the ball in their possession. 80 minutes. You got to remember, there was 30 minutes for the halftime show, and you had an additional um, couple of minutes, including the fact that you also had um, them in their possession at the halftime. They really had um, hurt the longest because they didn't have um, offensive possession for a long time. And man, did it show! It definitely show. Um, fortunately, they was able to uh, they was able to overcome that, able to stop the 49ers right on their own, um, on their own um, territory and he was able to come out with their second Super Bowl win um, in their franchise history. So congratulations to them. Congratulations to the 49ers. They really played well in the second half. Uh, I'm proud of both teams um, and uh, both teams have nothing to be ashamed of. They really came out and gave us a kind of show, particularly in the second half because I will not lie to you. The first half I was not into it at all. Um, the game was one-sided throughout there and then of course, after the Black House, it became a football game. It really became a football game. Um, that's my overall feeling about this. Um, what do you guys feel about the Super Bowl? I'm not going to touch on the ads because, frankly, I don't care about them anymore. Um, these ads, of course, a million dollars. Um, therefore, the um, organizations, they're all some fun ads. But there was a lot of weird ones, I and mean, even ones that I think did more harm to the company than good, to be honest with you. But I'll leave that for you guys to decide for yourself. Um, in any case, uh, good, foot, good football game, especially the second half. Um, 
I uh, wanted to hear your guys' opinion on it, but until then, this is J77 saying take care, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon.